Alright, we'll uh, update here and give you a tour of my new shop, which I haven't done yet. Give you, for those who may not have seen anything about here, I'm down in Mexico. We'll give you a little show of what's around on the property. We've got a couple houses here. Pastor's house. The ministry house is on the other side that I stay in. We have the church. And if you look out to the left-hand side of that little blue wagon, you'll see that there's a bucket setting up, and that's where we just drilled the new well. We've got to get electrical run to it and get the pump installed. And here we have the orphanage. And uh, Almasain for the orphanage, which is a storage shed. And underneath that Almasain is a water tank, a cistern. That's what the well will be filling. And then here we have my shop. Take you inside it in just a minute, but first, for my project I've got going on now, You've seen the benches that I've built down here for some of the churches, for pews. Then you'll see that here's a stack of wood. This is for 30 of them. The stack's almost four feet deep. And it's close to six feet tall. It has a lot of wood. I've got 30 pews to build. So we'll come into the shop. And for those of you that have seen the video of my shop before, you know that basically this was the size of it. I had everything I had to do, I had to do in this 16 by 20 foot building. And we've been given a bunch of new tools, well they're not new, they're new to us, but they're in great shape, they work, function, thanks to Gene. One of them is this big bandsaw but I've got to get electricity run into the shop so I can get 230 volts in to power it. But this is the size my shop used to be. And we'll come over here and you can see the addition and what they have done added to it. And as you can see, we've got a drill press. We've got a radial arm saw which yes, the guard is off of it, but with this dado blade, you can't run the guard. We got a shape, we got a joiner. Under the tarp, we have a shaper, a workbench, second workbench, table saw. Here we have the leg assemblies for 10 of the church pews. I'm gonna build them 10 at a time. But this is a leg assembly for 10 of them. I've already got two coats of poly on them. I need to sand them and then put the final coat on. But my project now is I have to build a, we're building the vanities for the bathroom out in Heton Waka. And this is the top. And I'm just going to build a frame to put it on. And I've already got the legs cut out for it here. Just got to finish them out and then I'll basically make a small table without a top to it. And we'll attach the sink to that top itself. And then I'll have to build another one. The other sink has got, it has to have a countertop. That's kind of my new shop. That's what we've got going on right now. Uh, stay tuned, we're going to have more videos posted up. I've got, you can see here, it's kind of a, a poor design of a chair that I'm making. I've got to build some chairs for somebody. That's a project I'm kind of working on there. Um, what else have I got going on? We've got to do the electrical in the church out in Heton Waka. We've got to get the bathroom going first. And then we've got to get the electrical going, and then we'll be pretty much going. I mean, we're using the building now, the floor's finished. 
everything's functional in there. We just don't have any lights or any power. But hey, it's Mexico. We get by with what we got. Well, tour of the new shop. Everybody, hope you enjoy it. Have fun. Those of you in the north, this is what is this? March, middle of March, and we're 90 degrees down here. If you're tired of the cold, come join us. And we have plenty of toilet paper in Mexico. There is no shortage. Shelves are full of it. All right. So see you later. Bye.